Hi, Kel Kellogg here of the Fish Differ Magazine. We're at beautiful Lake Almanor today. It's been rainy overnight and we're getting ready to hit the water with some U.S. military veterans in search of big trout with Captain Brian Ricucci of Big Daddy's Guide Service. I can't wait to see these rainbows. With everyone aboard and the moon hanging in the western sky, Brian set a course for the eastern shore of the lake. On the east side, Brian lined up to troll a flat that was sitting in 35 feet of water. The sonar unit revealed that there were a good number of trout scattered from the surface all the way down to the bottom. Brian's strategy was to slow troll threaded night crawlers at various depths. As you can see here, Brian is using half a mini crawler and he's threading it onto a number six hook. It didn't take long for Brian to get four baits in the water, working from 10 to 32 feet deep. All of the worms were trolled naked on fluorocarbon line without the addition of dodgers or flashers. We'll be back after this to find out if Elmanor's trout population appreciates Brian's threaded crawlers. Fishing the West with Kel Kellogg is brought to you by Penn Fishing Tackle. Abu Garcia Big Game Reels, Cousins Tackle, Premium American Fishing Rods, and The Fish Sniffer, the premier source for West Coast fishing information since 1982. U.S. Army veteran Anthony Benham hooked the first fish of the day. There you go. a light bite too. Yeah. Little baby, little, baby little baby salmon. salmon. All right, hooked up. Yeah, I'm just right now. While it was Anthony that broke the ice, it was Larry that ended up breaking Brian's landing net with this big bad brown trout. Wait for it, which you're about to see doesn't happen every day. Watch closely and you'll see the big trout go airborne. Oh, that, oh, keep reeling. Do, just keep reeling. Yeah, That's a big running. fish. Don't touch the drag ring. That's a big fish. He jumped. Yeah, I saw him. Swivel. Yeah, oh, nice fish. Easy up, easy up. All right, yeah. Oh, he fell out of the net. <laughs> he fell through the net. <laughs> Let's have a look at that in slow motion. Wow, can you believe that? U.S. Army veteran Gene Rush was the next man to hook up, and Brian had broken out a brand new net. Watch Gene's brown trout explode out of the water. Nice work, Gene. That's how they get it done in the Army. With the cloud spitting rain, Anthony hooked the final fish of the day on a threaded gulp minnow. With the quality brown trout we'd seen, we figured Anthony was hooked up with a brown too, but you just never know. This one might be a little better fish than we're giving him credit for. You're not getting a lot of line right now. You're reeling enough to tap. He ripped it out of that clip with no problem. Yeah. And I pinned him extra hard because of the wind. Yeah, no, I'm going to get that one. Yep. There he is. See a little flash. Take like another brown. Looks like it. Yeah. No. Is that a catfish? Catfish. You got a catfish. <laughs> Go. <laughs> You're just talking about that. Huh. That's a new one. A little sucker can pull. Yeah. There you go. Gulp catches everything. That ain't a bullhead. <laughs> That's a catfish. 
Full size. I don't want to grab the thing. You grab it. Here. <laughs> there you go. They got spines on them. Good looking fish. <laughs> what a head. Hey, the cat looks like the gulf, huh? Yeah. Cool. It's going straight here. <laughs> nice. Thank nice. you, Elmanor Catfish. Thanks for watching. I'll be coming your way real soon with another episode of Fishing the West. This is Kel Kellogg signing off.